So we've just viewed the video with Willard Jimerson and him talking about the power of a relationship. And what we know is that a positive, trusting relationship is one of the main counters and protective factors for childhood trauma. And when we talk about trauma, there's simple trauma and complex trauma. And from my own experience of being in a car collision, I remember my brain and body preparing me for a collision for the next three months. But after three months of being safe, I went back to a normal baseline. That's different than a child who's experiencing adverse childhood experiences or complex trauma. It's as if they're in small collisions all the time and their body and brain won't go back to a neutral state, which impacts their school experience day to day. But what is complex trauma? A traumatic event or trauma is an experience that causes physical, emotional, psychological distress or harm. That's different than an ACE or an adverse childhood experience. An adverse childhood experiences are ongoing experiences in a child's life before the age of 18 that have the ability to impact them into adulthood. And the impact of having too many ACEs or adverse childhood experiences can be long-term effects on brain development and physical development, as well as move a child from a state of trust to mistrust and hope to despair. So what defines an ACE or an adverse childhood experience? Well, these are the 10 categories that are measured. Physical abuse, sexual abuse, verbal or emotional abuse, physical neglect, emotional neglect, depressed or mentally ill family member, caregiver in prison or incarcerated, caregiver addicted to alcohol or other substance, witnessing abuse in the home, or a loss of a parent for any reason. This is what we know. The effects of ACEs and toxic stress are physiologically damaging, but we also know that the effects are reversible. The earlier that we address them, the better. Stress is the body's normal response to challenging events or environments. While positive stress is just a part of growing up, toxic stress is when the body and brain of a child is overloaded with too many stress hormones, specifically adrenaline and cortisol. And toxic stress harms the functions and structures of the brain and the body. Causes of toxic stress are generations of inadequate parenting, multiple changes in caregivers, unemployment of a family member, the experience of racism. As you look at this list, consider which ones of these are your students impacted by. You have just taken some time to consider some causes of toxic stress. And as a result, what you may see are behaviors associated with an imbalance in the development of brain regions. And the three main brain regions typically spoken about are the hippocampus, which is associated with memory, the amygdala, which is associated with emotions and instinct, and then the prefrontal cortex, which gives us our ability to think things out and slow down and regulate our emotions. So for example, you may see a student who gets triggered by an event in their hippocampus, instinctively put in a position to react by their amygdala and have an underdeveloped prefrontal cortex that does not allow them to regulate that emotion or that behavior that follows. So how do we help those kids? We know that the impacts are real, but we also know that the impacts are reversible. We can help them by building a trauma-informed educational environment. And a trauma-informed school environment consists of adults that know how to respond, that have awareness, that have knowledge, skills, and can create an overall school climate that's consistent, predictable, with structure to where students know what's coming next throughout their school day. And where the adults can ask the question of what happened to you as opposed to what's wrong with you. And when we talk about awareness and knowledge, what we're talking about is adults understanding the prevalence that adverse childhood experiences and trauma have on our students, families, and the overall community. A trauma-informed school incorporates specific strategies and practices across each level of the organization that are grounded in consistency, predictability, and structure that gets anxiety levels down and puts a student in the part of their brain that allows them to access good academic learning. And what we're describing is a positive school climate 
where all students feel a sense of safety, belonging, and acceptance throughout their school day. And the good news is, a trauma-informed educational environment is great for all kids. Now here are a few questions for you to reflect upon.